Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video on Artland, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a pirate treasure surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our pirate treasure surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. We want to go ahead, line up the corners, and just fold our paper in half like we're making a nice little birthday card. So just line them up and give them a nice fold like this. And now you have a birthday card shape. Next, we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold the whole thing in half again. So we're gonna line up these corners, give it a nice fold. And this way it kinda looks like a bookmark. Now, we're gonna open up the top flap and now we have something that we can open up like this or we can flip it around and open it up like this. It's your choice. Now to start off with our treasure chest, let's begin with the top. Let's begin right here, and we're gonna make a line that's just going to curve up towards the top. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll just curve this up right towards the top. Next, we're going to connect both of these lines. Once you have that connected, we want to connect these two lines, but we don't want to draw underneath the fold. We want to stay on the top. So I like to turn it like this so I can get a better line. So I'm going to draw right on top of the fold here. We're just going to come right across down to here. Next, starting here, we're going to draw a line that comes down for one side of the treasure chest. And we'll do the same thing over here. We're gonna draw a line that comes down for the other side. Then go ahead and draw a line to connect them for the bottom. Now we wanna put some detail on here. So I'm gonna start right here at the top and I'm gonna make a line that's going to curve down, but I'm not gonna go all the way. I'll do that same thing on this side. I'm gonna curve down, but I'm not gonna go all the way. Then I'm going to draw a line that comes across. Starting here, we're gonna make a line that comes down, and another line that comes down. Then right here, I'm gonna make a line that comes across and connects. Starting here, I'm gonna make a line that's gonna go down. I'm gonna come over and up. Now let's make a little keyhole on here. Let's begin by making a nice big black dot and we're gonna color that in. Then we'll just make a little rectangle underneath that we're gonna color in. Now right across here, we're gonna make some little broken lines. These are gonna kinda look like the wood of our treasure chest. So we'll do a couple there. And then we're going to do a couple right across here too. We'll do another one here. Now, once we have all this drawn, we can open it up and start working on all the details on the inside. Now, once we have it opened up, let's start on the sides. I'm gonna begin over here, and we're gonna make a line that's gonna come up, and then we'll make a line that comes up over here. Next, we will connect both of these lines. And then I'm gonna make this line come up almost all the way to the top, and same thing here. Then we're just going to connect these lines. And we're gonna make this line come all the way to the top up here.
I'm going to add another one of those broken lines right across here. Now inside of here we want to make it look like there's a bunch of gold and treasure. So starting here I'm going to make some bumpy lines that are just different sizes and we're going to go right to there. Now inside of here I want to put a little skull, kind of like a pirate skull. So we're going to start here. Let's make a nice big circle shape that's going to come around to here. Then we're going to make a little line that's going to come down and then right over to here. We'll add a couple little lines for some teeth. Next, we're going to add a big circle right here, and then another big circle over here. Then we'll make a little moon shape on one side of each eye. And then we'll make a little triangle shape for the nose, with a little curved line right there. Now starting right across here, I'm going to make a line that comes across and then another line. This way it kind of looks like he's wearing a bandana. We'll put some little half circles on here. And then we'll make a half circle here. And we'll put two ovals on here to make it look like it was tied. Now over here, let's make it look like there's a big fancy cup in here. So we're going to make two lines that come up. And then we're going to make a great big smiley face. Let's go ahead and connect this. And then we'll put another line across. We'll make it look like there's some big jewels in here. So we'll put a big circle here, a half circle here, and then a half circle here. Now starting here, I'm going to make some more bumps that go right up to the skull. They're going to come right between here, and then we're going to make them come down all the way to here. So it looks like there's lots of gold in there. In the back here, I want to put a crown. So let's make a line that comes up, and then we'll make a line that comes up here. We're going to make a line that goes down and up, and then another one right here. So it's going to go down and then up. We'll put some circles on the top for some jewels, and we'll do one right here. Then we can make a little line that comes across. Now, I want to draw the top of our treasure chest. So we're going to start here at this corner, and we're going to make a line that's going to come in at a diagonal, and then we'll do the same thing here. We're going to come in at a diagonal. Next, I'm going to make this line come back up, but not all the way to the top. And same thing here. We're going to come up, but just not all the way. Next, we're going to come all the way across, just so we have the top of our treasure chest. Now, I'm going to make some pointy diamond shapes inside of here, just so it looks like there are some other jewels and stuff in here. So we'll do a little diamond shape there with a line across, and we'll do one more over here, too. And on these diamonds, I'll just draw a line that comes across each one. And then we'll make some little lines that come down, just to make it look like there's some little jewels in there. Now, one of the last things I want to add is I want to make some pieces of gold flying out of here. 
So we're gonna start over here and we're gonna make some oval shapes. So we'll make an oval here and I'll make another oval right over here. We'll do one flying out here. We'll do another one here. And then we can do one more right here. So we just made some oval shapes. Now underneath these ovals, we're gonna make another really skinny oval shape under there, we're just kind of following the curve. This way they, the pieces of gold kind of look a little 3D. So we're just gonna bring these all the way down. And then we can add some little lines across there just to kind of help make them look more like little gold coins or something. And I like to even add a little line or two underneath them so it kind of looks like maybe they're really flying out, like this treasure chest was just ready to explode. There's so much in there. And there you go, when you have your treasure chest all folded up, it's just a nice little chest. And then as soon as you open it up, you can see that it is full of gold and treasure. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.